welcome back to my channel. I'm making Brazilian fish stew today, so hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. I'm starting off by cutting my fish into one inch cubes. Well, I'm not really cubing mine because it's still partially frozen and it's probably just going to split by the time I cook it in the pan. I'm using tilapia, but you can use any white fish like cod, swordfish, mahi-mahi, etc. You get the idea. Now I'm adding one tablespoon of lime juice and my salt and pepper to taste. Now all I'm gonna do is mix this up for a little bit, grab a piece of saran wrap and cover it up so that it can refrigerate for about 20 minutes while we prep everything else. While the fish is hanging out in the fridge, go ahead and make your rice now. I just made white rice for mine. Since my onion was so large, I'm just gonna use half of it and finely mince it. I've chosen to use pre-minced garlic, so no need to show you that step. You'll also need one red bell pepper, but since I don't have any on hand, I'm just gonna use my snacking bell peppers. A few of these should do. Now that we're done slicing our veggies, making our rice, I ended up taking a little cleaning break. Anybody else clean while they're cooking? All right, it's been about 20 minutes now and our fish is ready. So go ahead and add one tablespoon of coconut oil in a shallow pot or a skillet and make sure you cook your fish all the way through on a high heat temperature. When you're done cooking your fish, go ahead and set it aside. For our broth, we're going to reduce the heat to a medium high temperature and add one and a half tablespoons of coconut oil. Then add your garlic and your onions and cook this until your onions become translucent. Next, add your bell peppers and cook these for a couple of minutes. Begin adding your broth ingredients, your 14 ounce can of tomatoes and a 14 ounce can of coconut milk with one cup of chicken broth. Once all that's in, go ahead and give it a good stir. Now let's add our seasoning. I'm using one and a half teaspoons of Splenda. I accidentally spilled uh, my teaspoon of cayenne pepper, so I'm not adding more, but a tablespoon of paprika and a tablespoon of cumin. And I didn't want my seasoning to go to waste, so I just went ahead and threw some into the broth right there. Now let's give this all a good stir, trying to get all of the seasoning dissolved. We're gonna do this all on a medium high heat temperature, and we're gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes until the sauce thickens. Now that our broth has been simmering for about 20 minutes, go ahead and add your fish back inside, and we're gonna let this reheat for about two minutes. Make sure you taste your broth and see if you need to add any more salt and pepper. Once that's done, make sure you stir in one tablespoon of lime juice before serving. To plate this, all you have to do is serve this over rice and add some cilantro on top. And that's our Brazilian fish stew. This stew actually reminded me of Thai curry because of the coconut milk, but it wasn't spicy at all. My kids wanted pizza, but ended up eating this after one slice, so yay me. All right, that's our Brazilian fish stew. Please subscribe and hit that bell to follow along my cooking journey. Thank you for watching. Watch me cook.